Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. All right, here he is making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new UFC light heavyweight champion. He is the number one ranked 205 pound contender and is finally realizing the title fight here tonight. He believes he has a lot of advantages in this fight. He believes he's the better man. Look at the confidence on his face. No UFC jitters for this man. He is out to prove tonight that this champion is a one trick pony and that he is the best light heavyweight on the planet. We'll see if he can turn those words into actions here in short order. Well, he has joined a long list of Hall of Fame types, Chuck Liddell. John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Now this man is the hunted at 205 pounds. He is the UFC light heavyweight champion. He has defended the belt. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best 205er in the world. A lot of momentum with the challenger here tonight, though. A lot of people think we're getting a new champion. The champion is not among those. We'll see if this man can walk out the same way he walked in as the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with the same height and some differences in reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 12 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Ronaldo Jacare Souza. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. Black Mamba! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, come out for it. Are you ready? So here we go, round one. UFC Light Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Capacity crown on hand. Many of them here to see that man, the 205-pound king. He has successfully defended this title in the past and now looking to defend the belt again against a number one contender who is ubiquitously regarded. He's our man.
Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Working on another submission attempt here. Guard here, the feet are on the hips. What are you trying to do if you're in top position? Oh, man, you're attacking those feet right away because you understand that the guy with the feet on the hips, all he has to do is just extend his legs. Right. He's a grown man that's pushing you off as you're trying to build into him. Attack the feet with your hands, head and chest back, lead with your hips, pass the feet. Whoa! There it is! It's over! Oh, my goodness! What a fight! Pinpoint strike to end this fight, it landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands, and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 59 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. Well, he came in as the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion, and after that result, he goes out the way he came in. And still, ladies and gentlemen, and nice to see this moment now as he celebrates with his corner. That was as dominating a title defense as we've seen thus far this year as he knocks out the number one contender, and really in so doing, sends a message to the other contender types at 205 pounds that it's gonna take your best night and best performance, and even then, I'm still probably walking out with my belt.